What is anti-white? To find out what is anti-white, let us first define what is white. We are white. We are the white people, the Europids, the descendants of Cro-Magnon. Our forefathers survived the Ice Ages and came out on top. Thus, our genes have been brutally selected and refined for tens of thousands of years. We share Germanic, Celtic, Slavic, Finno-Ugric, Baltic and or Italic ancestry. Our brilliant men have shaped this world with discoveries and inventions like no other men were able to. Our women are desired and chased for their outstanding beauty and practical skills. Our phenotype is as diverse as it gets, with hair and eye colors in countless combinations. We, the white people, are very different from other peoples, who are also grouped as Caucasians, such as Turks, Arabs, Persians and Jews. We whites just recently rediscovered how different we are. We only recently started again to celebrate our uniqueness and special intellectual and creative qualities. We started again to look for and together with other awakened whites, just for the sake of feeling this belonging to our own group, which is a racial group, let's dare say it. Therefore, everything that stands in the way of exclusive white life and white well-being is consequently anti-white. However, there are many anti-whites who do not want us to build our own communities and practice our own traditions, as all the other mentioned Caucasian subgroups, as well as all the other races, do freely and openly. Whites are discriminated against by Western media, politics and education. The double standard is blatant. Only white people's need for social exclusivity is never mentioned as if it didn't exist. Our need for racial pride, racial well-being and racial survival is not even pronounced as a valid objective. Quite to the contrary, Whenever we express the desire for white in-group preference, we get stigmatized by all the big corporations and organizations chanting racism in unison. They do not want us to define ourselves as separate from other racial groups. The anti-whites want us to mingle and melt, but having mixed-race children in societies would kill our race and our culture which is clearly anti-white behavior we must reject. We need to take responsibility. As soon as we have understood the scheme set up against us, our duty is to act on it. Let us not waste time lamenting our fate or blaming our ancestors, the government or the system for all the misery and degeneracy that white people face in the modern world. We are responsible for shaping our future now. Not doing anything but complaining is anti-white behavior. Whites are resourceful people. We have demonstrated numerous times in the history of mankind that we are innovative, courageous and persistent. In fact, not wanting to find pro-white solutions is not only not white, it is anti-white. We need to build online and especially offline local communities. I invite you to find provide partners or like-minded people on whitedate.net or to work with whites on whitedeal.net or to find alternative solutions to build your family with whitechild.net which we just launched. We provide these three platforms but there are plenty of other possibilities to foster white cultural, financial and political independence. If you are a naturally born leader listening to this, build your local pro-white community. Create events, fairs, markets, dances, concerts, celebrate birthdays, barbecues, harvests and also our ancient white celebrations Ostara, Midsummer, Samhain and Yule. We are a noble people. The antagonist has meticulously studied and shamelessly exploited our kindness and generosity. 
Therefore, we must focus on ourselves to heal. Every white man and woman's first goal should be to invest their time and energy in the building and well-being of white families as well as our white extended family, our race. White loyalty first. This includes the understanding that there are mixed race people with European admixture that constantly try to infiltrate and manipulate our groups. Some of them even look like us without being loyal to the white race. Not understanding that those people are secret agents positioned in white institutions by pushing anti-white policies has harmed our people for thousands of years. We need to learn to recognize anti-white infiltrators. In fact, not excluding infiltrators is a completely anti-white act that should be shamed because it hurts our white societies from the inside out. We need to re-embrace our old traditions, the synergy of the masculine and feminine that has helped our race survive and prosper through the ages. Our way of life goes back long before religion was invented to unite people by ideology instead of their racial bond. Only recently this natural synergy between the sexes has been deconstructed by feminism and by psychological attacks on the white masculine psyche using imaginary guilt cults. Luckily we have a brain to question lies. In fact, not questioning attacks on our group, despite the ocean of revised historical material at hand, is not only plain foolish, but obviously also anti-white. We must question the anti-white narrative to find the truth. The anthropological and historical facts will make us understand where we come from, which will help us regain our deserved self-confidence and self-love. Finally, yet importantly, the idea of a savior keeps us from freeing ourselves. There will be no Messiah, no Führer, no Q, no Putin, no Bruce Willis, no UFO-driving Reichsdeutsche coming from Antarctica to save us. We are the ones we have been waiting for, and we need to organize, preferably in a decentralized manner. This is an unpopular opinion, but I'm not in the business of pleasing everybody, so here it is again. I believe that any centralized structure represented by a brand, a flag or a national leader, which can be usurped by money printing anti-white forces, is in the end not useful to white liberation and therefore anti-white. Think about how we have been managed from top to bottom through centralized systems using destructive brother wars and expropriation schemes. The less hierarchy we build, the less effective external infiltration and manipulation techniques will be. We need to take back our responsibility. There is no such thing as freedom without responsibility, and freedom cannot be outsourced. There will be small units though. Local leaders are already appearing by the thousands to build and manage white communities that obviously can also cooperate regionally and even globally for mutual support and exchange of ideas. We have many great men in our ranks to head STEM-like structures and they will find other white leaders in other regions, countries and on other continents to talk to. These white men will help us build tribal safe havens. These local tribes might have to unite one day to fight a military attack. We need to get prepared. Think global, act local. White leaders can use whitedate.net slash groups to network, it's free, or they can organize differently. In any case, decentralized, we will become ungovernable and uncontrollable by the globalist forces. There is so much more to say about the withdrawal tactics from their financial, political and educational systems, as well as their propagandizing, demoralizing and degeneracy pushing media. I trust in your curiosity to explore unconventional possibilities. I wish you to get safely through these end times, which are followed by a golden age. Let's make sure our descendants will see it.